The files indicate exactly what the Endorian said. The Earth was destroyed. And analysis indicates it happened a couple hundred years ago. One can only assume, since we are unchanged, that the void we're in is protecting Farragut from changes in the timeline. But how long can we expect such protection? I estimate we have less than 36 hours until the integrity of all the bubbles fail. Once that happens, we, along with everything in the void, will fade from existence. Indications are the changes in the timeline were centered on the incident involving Renata. If Renata was snatched from her timeline before the shutdown of the magnets could occur, then the wormhole must have expanded, causing Earth's orbit to shift. If the Earth was destroyed in the 21st century, there would be no contact with the Vulcans, no Earth-Romulan war, and no Federation. Our only chance is to somehow reverse the effects of the Gorn weaponry. Basically, put time back in its place. Aren't you forgetting one thing, Captain? Yes. Even if we come up with a way to correct the timeline, how do we ask the person we saved to willingly go back to die? You overstate the problem, Captain. We simply send her back without revealing the outcome. This is a perfect example of the Vulcan axiom, the needs of the many outweighing the needs of the few. Or in this case, the one. You rescued me! And now you want to send me to my death? Carmen, wait! Security. Captain, that's not necessary. I'll bring her back. It's my responsibility. Understood. I couldn't tell her, Jack. I tried. I really tried. I'm sorry she had to hear it that way, Mike. I know she's scared, but... Scared? Damn right she's scared! I know sending her back is our only chance to set things straight, but do we really have the right to make that decision for her? 